Hello Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. Welcome to another review with me, John. As you can see, I have another bowl of ramen here to review. And as you can tell with the murky greenness of this, that is a interesting ramen to say the least. Anyway, would like once again to remind you that yes, please subscribe to my channel so I can remain monetized and not have to be poor and that's just just kidding I don't I don't base my income on on this but uh, I do want to keep receiving some type of money that'd be nice anyway this review is for the Paldo brand green tea chlorella I'm kind of shiny I don't know if you can see there green tea chlorella and now when you look at it, you're like, cholera? Are you going to get sick and die on the Oregon Trail? No, it's not cholera, it's chlorella. There's one L in there after the CH that makes it different. And what chlorella is, it's a single-celled green algae. And it's sold in Japan as like a health food, kind of like a holistic thing where they say, take this powder and it'll cure cancer or something like that. But, uh... There's green tea powder and chlorella powder infused into these noodles. And as you can see, the noodles are quite green. And the soup is also kind of brownish green. Kind of like if you were going to drink the water out of an algae-filled pool. Anyway, this is flavored with not only the uh, green tea and chlorella, but also garlic, cuttlefish, uh, clam extract, bonito extract, which is like a dry fish, uh, soy sauce, black pepper, shrimp, onion, and then the vegetable pieces in here are cabbage, onion, seaweed, red pepper, and cuttlefish flake. See, it gives you like a veggie packet and the powder packet. No MSG added. So in case you care about MSG, there's none in here. Another interesting thing about this is I've I've tested a lot of ramens that were highly recommended by the ramen raider. This one is on his bottom ten list of all time. So he's had thousands of ramens, and he lists this as the, one of the worst. So I decided I should try it. Here we go. The noodles are okay. They have that they have that shoe that Paldo usually has that I tend to like. The flavor's not great. It's not disgusting though. It has like a very seaweedy flavor. Mm -hmm. Kind of like you were drinking some seaweed infused water. I'm gonna get a sip of this broth. Yeah. So like the cuttlefish shrimp flavor mixed with that algae flavor. It definitely gives this bowl of ramen the taste like you're eating an aquarium. An aquarium where someone might not have cleaned it very well. You got some of that green algae growing on the sides. Then you take a big gulp. You get all that algae water. And maybe you get a, a shrimp or a fish in there. Gives a little fishy taste. That's basically what this tastes like. Definitely not the best. Definitely not something that 
he would come back to and say, that was delicious, I'll have another. And it's probably not even good enough for me to actually finish this bowl. I'll probably drain this and dump this away because, you know, it's not that good. Um, I'd be interested to see what's worse than this. Um, this is uh, definitely not, like, super offensive. If I had to finish this, I could. If I was hungry enough, I would. But uh, it's just not interesting enough, and the flavor's not that good. I'm going to have to give this a 4 out of 10. And, uh, yeah. I'd rather just drink plain water. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to my channel. I have a YouTube or I have a Facebook page. If you wanna um, follow me on Facebook? Same name. And until next time, guys. So long.